Now that the perimeter walls are done, I'm going to create the main floor slab and then copy it up to become the second floor and the roof. And then we'll use the shaft command to cut a hole in the second floor to create the mezzanine. So to start with, we we'll go to floor and we're going to look under edit type to make sure that we're going to use the standard 200 concrete slab. No changes, just say OK to that. We're in the wall uh, floor editor and so we need to choose a boundary. The simplest way is to choose walls. Okay, pick a wall. So before we do that, we're going to make sure that we are extending into the core. What that means is when we choose the wall, I click on this one and this one, you see how the line it's getting is on the inner core line. So the slab is going to the outside face of the CMU, which would match what we would do in construction practices. So I'm just going to walk around the building here, clicking each wall and you can look over here in the uh, properties window and it says that the level is at the top of the main floor so we're starting there it's a 200 slab so the slab will go downward 200 millimeters so if we're happy with that perimeter line to the outside face of the CMU I'm going to check that say OK and we'll have a look at that in 3D and there it is and if you look closely, you see that slab goes under the CMU, and that's fine. We could extend the insulation down. If we had a full uh, basement or whatever, a grade beam, we could run it past there. So I like that. So now I want to go to a section view, um, any section view. There's one I've got set up. And I want to highlight that slab and simply copy it. And we'll do a multiple copy. So I check the multiple. Our base point is going to be the grid line, and we'll go straight up to the next grid line and straight up to the roof grid line and escape. We've done that. Check it out in 3D. There are the three floors you can see all in place, and they all go into the CMU wall, which is good. It shows that the, the, bearing, the CMU would start below and above that wall, so that's, that's good for drawing purposes. Now well, let's go to the second level and cut out that shaft or cut out the area for the mezzanine. You see the mezzanine goes between these grids. So I'm going to go in still on my home tab, use the shaft command and use rectangle as my choice this time. And I'm going to start from the outside edge of that slab which is the outer face of the CMU and I'm on level 2. So I click that point and go to the outer and the intersection of these two grids and that should be good for that uh, let's say oh let's confirm our heights we start from the top of the main floor so this shaft is going to go through the second floor is the key so I've got it starting at the main floor running all the way up to the roof but stopping 200 millimeter down offset so it doesn't go through the roof slab okay let's check that to say finish edit mode and go back to our 3D view. There's the shaft, that, that removal that we've created. If I hit escape and it disappears. So now you can see that main floor slab goes all around and the mezzanine slab now has an opening in it. Now we can get ready to add our interior walls and rails.